our perception of the world of light, darkness and color is shaped to a large extent by our sense of sight. Vision involves both the eyes and the brain. The eyes work like sensors and transmit information about the world outside to our brain. To understand exactly how this happens, let's explore the different parts of the eye. Click each label to learn more. Visible through the cornea is the pigmented part of the eye called the iris. The color of the eye, blue, green or brown, depends on the amount of pigment present in the iris. Muscles in the iris are used to constrict or dilate the pupil, controlling the amount of light reaching the retina. The pupil is a small, round opening in the middle of the iris that allows light to reach the retina. Muscles in the iris control the size of the pupil. When too much light enters the eye, the pupil constricts or becomes smaller, reducing the amount of light reaching the retina. When too little light enters the eye, the pupil dilates or expands, allowing more light to reach the retina. Drag the slider to see the effect. At the front of the eye, the sclera merges with the cornea. Unlike the opaque sclera, the cornea is a clear, transparent and slightly bulging surface that allows light to enter the eye. Along with the lens, the cornea causes these light rays to bend, creating a sharp image focused on the retina. The eye has a soft, transparent, curved lens located just behind the iris and pupil. Its curvature causes light to bend as it travels through the lens. This helps focus the light on the retina. Ciliary muscles change the curvature of the lens, allowing the eye to make adjustments for near and distant objects. This adjustment of the lens is known as accommodation. Sometimes there may be a loss of vision due to clouding of the lens. This clouding or cataract can be corrected surgically by replacing the foggy lens with an artificial lens. The optic nerve is connected to the back of the eye and relays information from the eye to the brain. It is made up of a bundle of nerve fibers that transmit electrical impulses from the retina to the brain.
The retina is a light sensitive layer that lines the back of the eye. Light rays from an object are bent first by the cornea and then further by the lens causing an inverted image to be focused on the retina. The brain then interprets this image right side up. Amazing, isn't it? Photoreceptors are specialized cells of the retina that respond to light. When an image is focused on the retina, photoreceptors translate these light impulses into electrical impulses. These electrical impulses are then sent to the brain through the optic nerve. There are two types of photoreceptors in the retina, rods and cones. Rods are most sensitive to changes in light and work well in low light, while cones are most sensitive to colors and work well only in very bright light. The sclera, also known as the white of the eye, is clearly visible when the eye is open. This tough, white, opaque wall maintains the shape of the eyeball and protects the inner parts of the eye. 